Not too long ago, I was going through a situation, a, a devastating situation. Although I was going through this devastating situation, I had a lot of great positive things going on in my life, actually. I just got accepted into graduate school at USC. I just received a scholarship from the Topping Scholar, one of, the, one of the most competitive scholarships on campus. Out of the thousands of people who apply, I was chosen. I was chosen. Only two graduate students were chosen for this particular scholarship, and I got it out of everyone. Everything else in my life was going great. I was happy, healthy, but this one situation just came out of the blue. I didn't know how I was gonna deal with it. But I remember my scholarship. They took us on a retreat. They took us on a retreat for about three, four days. And I came back home. And my uncle, he picked me up and he said three things to me that always stuck with me. And I never forgot it. The first thing he said to me is, don't you drop out of that program. I looked at him, I said, I'm not gonna drop out, Uncle Troy. The second thing he said to me was, Shade, you tried to make something grow in a season it was never supposed to grow in. Sometimes things are meant to last for a season and then you go on to the next season. I looked at him, I said, wow, that's, that's powerful. But the last thing he said to me, it really got me. I never forgot it, we were driving and he was looking at the road and, and, and something was on the radio and he turned the radio down and he said, Shade, you're reaching for crumbs when there is a cake in front of you. He said, you're reaching for crumbs when there's a cake in front of you. You're focusing so much on this situation that you're going through that you can't even see that there's a cake in front of you, right in front of you. And I looked at him and I said, wow. That's true. So when I got home, I started thinking about this and I, I never forgot it. I, it just stayed on me. I said, how do I know what the cake is? What is the cake? And then I went back to that conversation. My uncle had identified what the cake was and what the crumbs was right in front of me. First of all, the cake was graduate school. It was getting me to the next level in my career that would allow me to grow as an individual, grow and to support my family. So when he said, don't you drop out of school, that was the cake. And then when he said, Shadi, you're trying to make strawberries grow in a season they were never meant to grow in, he was referring to the crumbs. That was the crumbs. Here I am trying to plant something that cannot be planted in this season and will not grow. And yet I'm still watering it every day and I'm standing right by it. And it never grows. Stop it. Stop it. Stay focused. You think I'm gonna let you down now, don't you? I've known you my whole damn life, okay? This is, this is not easy for me. Stay focused, don't worry. Some things were meant to come into your life for a season and they were meant to leave. There are other things that come in your life for a season and they stay. So one of the things I started to think about was well, people always tell you what you should do. Nobody tells you how you should do it. You should forgive. Well, how do I forgive? You should let go. How do I let go? Build your team. You want to build your team because your team. If you're down with me, I'm down with you. Your team is going to be the ones when you get back on that floor and you start picking up them crumbs all over again, your team is going to be standing there with their arms folded saying, Get up off that floor and stop picking up them crumbs and let's get to this cake. Come on, man. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Come on. Brothers on three. Let's go. One, two, three. Brothers. That's what your team is going to do. Your team is going to lift you up when you go back to those crumbs because believe it or not, you just might go back to those crumbs. And your team needs to be there to pick you up. How do you build this team? My team consisted of attorneys, scientists, women with wisdom, men with wisdom, people who were contributing a great amount of passion to our society. That's what my team consists of now. Build your team, build your circle. That is what you do. Sometimes the crumbs have to do a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, past situations, and we're still reaching for them, we're trying to rebuild it. You can't make a beautiful cake out of crumbs. I don't 
don't know about you, but I'm ready to sit there and tell people I'm eating a twenty thousand dollar cake. I'm tired of eating twenty dollar cakes. I'm tired of it. And when you get sick and tired enough, you let go of that twenty dollar cake. My cake is gonna be twenty thousand dollars. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right. You got a dream. You got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something? Go get it. Period. So with that being said, what are you reaching for? Cake or crumbs? But remember, you can't have both. Shadi Varel.